Welcome back to Average Mike, and today we are going to make our own merch. Welcome back, and I am in just another Average Mike, and today we are making a merch for our win subscriber winners. Basically, if you are new to the channel, we hit a 100 and 200 subscriber goal. I know it's very small, but we hit it and uh, we did a giveaway contest for each one. Our two winners, uh, Dalton and the girls and Redfish Ray, we are going to make their shirts for them today uh, and ship them out. Now in that process, I'm gonna show you everything you need to know. But if you are new to the channel and you would like to get in on some of these giveaways that I do, uh, please subscribe, please hit that post notification, like and share, and you will be notified uh, for all my videos, including the ones that I announce giveaways for. So, let's start off with some of the equipment that I have here. So, here I have a MH871 MK2 from US Cutter. This is a 36 inch wide cutter. Now, some, some people use the, uh, I think, crickets, and that is perfectly fine too. You're gonna be working more with a sheet rather than a roll like we have here. Um, 15 inches wide. All my vinyl comes from Pro World Inc. I will leave a link in the description for both the cutter and the vinyl down below. Uh, I had went with the this uh, cutter, which is around 300 to 350 dollars from US Cutter. It is a very cheap cutter for the model that it is, 36 inch wide. They have more expensive ones, obviously. Um, but this does, I, I haven't been disappointed with this unit. Uh, I've used it for a couple years now, no issues. The one thing that this gives you that a Cricut would not is one, obviously the 36 inch wide deck, which allows you to do not only t-shirts, but it also allows you to do things like wall signs, uh, where you can buy something like this, it's a matte black, and they have matte white finished uh, wall vinyl. It allows you to do really big vinyl signs for your walls. You make the wife happy. Uh, fancy writing, all those sayings that they sell now that you know you could easily do it here. I've done it with with that vinyl, uh, no problem. Uh, also, some if you wanted to do lettering for say a truck or a trailer for a business, uh, lettering for windows. Uh, this is something that you would need not just a little cricket and it is well worth the extra money from it because a cricket's not as cheap either this is only a few more dollars and it gives you a whole lot more ability to make those dollars back the next piece of machinery I have which is already fired up is my heat press now this is from pro world again where I got the vinyl I will leave the link for the description for this unit as well. This is a 15 inch by 15 inch um, heat press for t-shirts and basically they sell a cheaper version of this that does not have a slide out option if you are looking to do more than just a single color uh, decal and I'll show you what I mean in a little bit here but if you're looking to do more complicated vinyl transfers then this is either this one which is a little bit more expensive than just a normal clam shawl one but it also has the ability to slide in and out and it also has the auto release so you don't have to sit here and unrelease it when the 15 seconds is up uh, they have more expensive ones that have the ability to swing out of the way it gives you a little bit more room than just sliding this out but this works just fine for to in order to save a couple dollars it is use this for years as well and i've had no issues last but not least you see here i have my decals uh ready to go i designed them on this program which is FlexiSign pro uh, this is a more expensive program i've had it for a while no thank you i've had it for a while um the the cutter comes with its own software which honestly i never use but i'm sure will do 
uh, very similar basic things um, that you may find yourself needing to do. So um, I will get into uh, how to, I'm actually going to take one of these, uh, cut out, I have a black one I need to do for Red Fish Ray on a red shirt. I have a white one I'm going to do for uh, Dalton and the girls uh, that's going to go on a navy blue shirt. And then I will show you, uh, as, you can, as you can see here, this is my YouTube channel. Again, if you have not subscribed and you like this content so far, please consider subscribing. It helps me out, helps us, you out, helps everyone out. Anyways, this I'm going to attempt with the vinyl that I have. I do have a lot of colors, but not maybe not exactly all these colors, but I will show you how to create this colorful logo on a white t-shirt. Um, it's fairly simple to do. Uh, it's a little more advanced than what the t-shirts I'm going to make um, thus far for Average Mike, but again, for the content, I will show you how to do that. So uh, let's get started with cutting out our vinyl and we, I'll show you the weeding process and then we'll put it on a shirt. All right, to uh, kind of speed up things, I will quick show you, I aligned my paper up here. I set the point of origin to the bottom right hand corner of the vinyl. That is good to go. We got our new, our logo here. It's in reverse image, how we need it. And we can go ahead and send it. So as you can see here, I have the one here for the red shirt that is complete. And I have this one that I didn't go as far as this one and I will show you why in a second. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna finish up with the white one, uh, printing and weeding out. And I'm gonna get all the colors for this one. And then we'll go ahead and start pressing one shirt. All right guys, in this mess of stuff here, we have everything needed to make our shirts. Now, this first shirt we're gonna start with is uh, Redfish Ray's red shirt. We are going to take our label here. I usually give it about four, three to four fingers from the top. So. All right, so we have our label logo vinyl transfer on the sh shirt, all nice and straight from what I can tell. So we're going to press it down and see how it turns out. All right, there it is in all its glory. Now let's get let's take care of the other shirt, and then we'll do. Uh, the multicolor one. Okay, so we finished this shirt here. Uh, that is for Dalton and the girls coming to them. And this shirt is the one that I'm just gonna probably end up keeping wearing it on some videos or not. But um, this is the one that's gonna be multicolor. So as you can tell, I did not peel out anything other than just the outline or silhouette, if you would. Um, we're going to slide it under, give it a quick like three second uh, heat. Oh, see, it's not quite done. Can fix that up just a tad. That's going to be messed up. But you want to get it so that the problem is it'll shrink. So if you do it too much, 
the rest of the pieces won't stick on. So, unfortunately, that E might be messed up, but that's okay. It's only for me. As you can see, sorry for the camera, I'm trying to do this while filming. I have the green to go over top of the average mic. And as you can also see, that E is messed up. But, like I said, it's okay. Get the gist here. Um, if you really want to be picky about it, you can really look into that. Make sure it's perfectly straight all the way around. Uh, at this point, I don't care because I already messed it up. But just going to show you that things do get messed up here. Uh, I don't even have all the right colors, so uh, today I'm going to be a trophy. Actually, this isn't me, it's just a character, but our average Mike logo man is going to be the color gold today. So we have his face, we also have his hand. Had to go dig his hand out of the trash here, but we are back. We are putting his hand. In there. Looks okay. Now, once you're really good at this, and like I said, this is something for a customer, um, you would, as you can see, you can still see the lines a little bit where it, the printer did cut in the black. I just didn't pick it out. Um, you can get the software uh, to just pick out or just not print, just print the silhouette. That way, if your vinyl doesn't cover the line, you'll still be okay. Um, but again, like I said before, I don't, this isn't something I'm too awfully concerned about because I'll we'll just be wearing it from time to time so no big deal so this is his pants I didn't have I thought I had royal blue but this will do just fine this is just a navy blue and oh, there's a little piece here that's not supposed to be there As you can see, a little bit of trunk on me, but still does the job. Yeah, and we still have a little blue there for his the top part. So we'll put that on. These multicolored ones take a lot of time compared to the other ones, which is why I generally, especially for giveaways, just do the just do the little the one color uh, pieces so this part is his arm here I don't know why that one part's red but that's okay Good. Good, good, good. There is one more red piece. I have to get it. I'll do this one first. Okay. There's his arm. This little red piece kind of just sits in here. Like that. It's part of his little turtleneck there. Put that on. And for the last piece, his wrench. I don't have brown for his hair, so 
Uh, that's going to stay black. I do, however, should have cut this a little shorter. And there, for his wrench, I'm going to do some sparkle. They do offer sparkle vinyl, so I did have some silver, so I'm going to put this down on there. Just because, why not, right? Pretty cool. And again, and this was a piece I kind of, uh, does that go here? I think it goes right there. Yeah. Kind of tore off by accident. And this one I'm going to let go for the whole 15 seconds that it should. Because that was the last piece. It could be better, uh, but again, gives you the idea that you can add all these colors in to the vinyl. It's not just a one and done thing, and it can look kind of cool. So yeah, all you new YouTube goers, you see all these uh, people who have merch that you know you have to pretty much either charge an arm and a leg, which you know most of them go for twenty-five dollars a shirt. Uh, it cost me uh, three bucks for this shirt, another dollar or two for vinyl, depending on what you want to do. Uh, it really isn't that difficult to do. Uh, you know, obviously there's upfront costs, but in the end, if you think that you're, or if you know that your YouTube subscribers are going to buy uh, some merch from you, this is a nice way to do it and charge less to your subscribers which would entice them to maybe buy more or um you know keep that little bit of a high dollar price and, and make some more off of it to put towards your youtube channel so for now um i'm just gonna use this to uh continue what i was doing with it and then also you know make some giveaway shirts for for the, the giveaway contest as i reach my milestone so um so redfish ray dalton and the girls Shirt's coming to you. Uh, hopefully you'll have it before you get this video. Um, and yeah, if you like the content, again, I'm sorry I say it over and over, but um, it really help out if you subscribe, turn on post notifications so you catch the next video. Like, share, all that stuff. And uh, I guess I'll catch you on the next one. Later.